Okay, now it's working. Mm. Where are we? Yeah. Should work now. Sending data. Sending data. This works. Which works as well. Great. Hmm. I thought this works as well. We'll see. Star painting. So we can move on a bit. Lighter. Hi, right, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Trying to stream again on YouTube. I don't know. Let's see if it will work. I'm just in a state where I just don't care anymore. <laughs>
Hmm. Can we get something more sketchy? Get something darker. Yes, nice. My shit over here, good. Hi, typical way. How are you doing? This works as well. A das. Interesting. Give him a little bit more detail, so it does look so weird. Something more orangey. That's too much. I want one more brush in there. Is this one? Shit. There you go.
get orange again. What is using before this one? Back to YouTube. Who? Oh, look who's back to YouTube streams. Eh. Yeah. Not really back to YouTube streams, but hey, I'm streaming on YouTube. Again, nice. I miss pinky one. And a little bit of flight around the edge. Why is it twice there? I don't understand who. Look who's back to YouTube stream. Look who's back to YouTube stream. What the hell? I'm still streaming on Twitch, but I turn on the.
Oh, sure, my mic's muted the whole freaking time. It's great, isn't it? Oh, hi, Neela, by the way. I'm just a genius sometimes. Sadly, a lot. I don't know why. Because I'm a doofus. Something new, something cool. I don't recall seeing you at the... Uh, what was it? Uh, challenge or the con contest I was doing. Which, by the way, there will be a new one soon. I I know the theme already and everything. I just can just kick myself into making a video because I'm a fucking lazy bastard. For some reason. Where to get it? Okay, I need to do something real quick because I'm too paranoid that I will hit it again like an idiot. Where's the freaking shortcut? This is it. Man, well, it's not there anymore. So I have a lot of work recently. Yeah, me too. Actually, I'm. Uh, Way more busy than I used to be. You don't need, yeah, but I have it on shortcuts, so I just 
to like remove the shortcut because it was like a, it would be kind of too annoying to control it all the time. And as well when we are at it. Hello boys, hello Martus, hello Ferris. Ah, my. Ow. This was sitting on my freaking leg. Where a long time. That was not good. is gone. Everyone. because right now it's kind of blobby characteristic which I don't like what what boy something happened Sinsu. I don't know, he was somewhere around here. It was somewhere around here, like a second ago. Yeah, he does that a lot. Because he's a terrible friend.
way be right back. All right. So yeah. Yeah, something lighter than that. Okay. Well, that doesn't look that bad. Oh, I wasn't really feeling that well lately. Definitely not with my result in art. So I was getting way too sloppy and I don't know, it's nothing work. Or that now would something work, but at least I'm trying. Oh, chat, damn it. There we go.
I'll try to make it a little bit faster. Why is it loading? Okay, it works somehow. Stash and the endings afterwards. Can we get like light color? Something lighter. This set, maybe. Or oh, is this at? A little bit of this over there. Now again, the light just a tiny bit and dark again. his hair he's like I'm in it like that and then goes behind this could go like a race okay it's starting to look slightly like him So we're almost there.
You guys live chatting? Uh, hello? Not really sure what you mean by that, but hello. <laughs> Slightly smaller. That's not the color I wanted. YouTube chatting. <laughs> or you can go Discord chatting on our Discord if you want to. Hello there, Lacalvi. Lacalvini Smith. Hello there. How are you doing? Something more precious. Hi, lol, ops, I meant voice chatting on Discord. No, not, not right now. From time to time we would do that on stream with a few people. With Sansy Boy and the Mr. Lady. But lately it's kinda hard to get everyone together, so, yep. Yeah. I'm here alone today. But yeah, uh, normally we were, we were sitting on Discord. Then he will be he will be missed. I wonder who will take the throne. Oh he's gone. Probably nobody, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that nobody.
Because I mean... It would be the same bullshit like they trying to like remake all the movies, you know, again and again. You know that the movie will just be trash, right? So that's the same reason why there can be another Stan Lee. Because it would be bad, like real bad. I'm a deviant artist full of Stanley art. Yeah, but deviant art is sadly kind of dead. <laughs> I don't know what happened with deviant art, but deviant art is just not anymore anything viable. I don't think yet. By the way, where's your art link? Should be somewhere. I think it's on my YouTube channel, but I'm not sure. But I'm not posting there anymore, so. It's just. I don't think DVNR has any future anymore. It got just too saturated that it doesn't really have any meaning anymore. But it should be somewhere on, I think it's on the YouTube channel, but I'm not sure. Like if you go in the section like about or something, there, there it definitely should be there. You are as overrun by furies and more fetishes. Yeah. Like now the, actually not anymore either, but like the art station is kind of more for artists now, for like the serious artists, but still it's like not there again, like it's, it's, yeah, it's getting bad as well, which I don't know, it's just like, it used to be Instagram, right? It used to be like, Divi and first it used to be DeviantArt, like DeviantArt was the shit, it was like, no, DeviantArt sucks. Let's go to Instagram. Well, Instagram kind of sucks now as well. So, I don't know. Like, Facebook wasn't really the thing at any point, I think. But doesn't matter.
But um, now like art station pro is probably the best thing to post to like get recognized because like to get a job, right? I'm talking about getting a job or getting like commissions and shit. Because it used to be like DVNR at the time, but now it's just not. It's just not not. What am I doing? Oh yeah. A racing! Some comics are good, like Business Cat and Black Blood Alien, that's a good stuff. Hey, yeah, but I'm pretty sure... Art Station, yeah. It's like if you want to get serious at art and get a job, you should probably go there. That's like your best bet right now. But of course you gotta be good, right? Like for everything, you gotta be good. to help Can we get like some kind of sooty color? I don't know what's exactly sooty color this coin, but can we get some? <laughs> uh, what kind of suit would he wear? Like darker, like beige? Strip red one for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, eh? Okay, how, how that would work? Like, strip red one. One second. Okay, how red it could be. How red we can go. Can go. Okay, what's the brightest we can go? Okay. Can go lighter. No. Uh, I think this is the max we can go. <laughs> but how? Like with red and white? Or what's the strip there? Like red and white or black and red? What do you think? Yellow a bit and 
to it. Mm. Gray and red, that could work. Let's try. Problem with gray is that gray will now look blue. Thanks to the red, you know. It's just like if you put gray next to a reddish accent, it just looks blue. So, for us it would be probably blue. We'll see. Okay, uh... Let me see, maybe we can like, kinda fake it. With this thing. Where is my... Thingy. Strips are probably better from top to bottom, right? Otherwise, it would look like uh... all right. It's so beautiful. Sleep K. Rip Stanley. Yeah, that's a shame. No oh, thanks. I don't know, this kind of looks not the way how I liked it. But I, I gotta probably do it the proper way. So... No, I just... Still, I want to do the fucking tutorial. I want to do so many things, but I'm just too lazy. Like, not lazy, I'm just... You know, procrastinating. That's my... Pretty much that's the shit I'm doing right now. Procrastination is a badge. How's? Huh. Okay, I gotta I gotta look up some strip because I have no idea how it's like strip jacket looks. I'll have to look it up for sure. Okay, let me just Google some strip jacket thingy. Or we move on to something else. Uh, uh, <laughs> not stripper. Strip jacket. Maybe like. Or. No. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we can work with that. So let's make it just gray. Uh, with a little darker gray on top. But maybe this brush so it looks like like it's made from one like it goes together right now we need to light one first of all I need to make the jacket great and I can add the red and it can maybe work I'm not sure so be like really yeah, yeah story of my life <laughs> and maybe it's something even darker just to make it more Zoom it as well, so we can look what's going on. So 
So it'd be better to have some different brush for the racing, at least, so you can keep some hard edges. At least in theory. Uh, is that the brush? Yeah, it is. Okay, and now we can try to make the strips on that. Maybe, you know what? Let's try to work with that a bit. I mean, darker is a bad, is a bad one right now. Yeah, that's, that's just a little better than the thing before. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Come. Leave me alone. Get. And we wanted the red one, right? To figure out what red goes best with this suit. Should be quite saturated. Maybe like a darker one. Uh, maybe I don't that dark. Work with me, goddammit. Can you remove this whole nonsense? Okay, this is a decent foundation, could be better. But what can we do, right? You look tired, you should sing while you paint. I do that to keep myself awake. Plus I'd be... <laughs> I cannot really sing. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired all the time. Oh, what's... Noctibus. What's poppin' Jimbo? Ah, I'm much Bimbo. The internet again. <laughs> That's not the internet I was looking for. Okay, okay, it goes like that usually. If I'm not mistaken. Put a little bit more effort into that. Should be a pretty good idea. The red and gray. Unless that's not allowed. Erect which when I said suddenly died. For some top notch reaction channel stuff. 
the way you reacted on Twitch when I said the Stanley that was some top notch reaction channel stuff. Just download an image and use the reference docker. Oh yeah, but if I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how I react to this. Probably not well, I, I don't know. What's the reaction to that, right? It's like, first of all, you don't believe. Second of all, You check the facts, then you start believing, and you accept that that's how you react on that shit. There's nothing you can actually do about it, is it? It's so sketchy, I, li I love it, when it's like that. That's my favorite. Amount of detail in something. It's like the really, really t teeny tiny detailing. It's just ah, uh, so tedious. I was still working on it though. Unless that's not allowed. It is allowed. Why shouldn't it be allowed? Use reference as much as you can. If you mean on YouTube, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't say that it's not allowed because it's fair use. So it shouldn't be like not not allowed because I'm not using the picture to make content out of it. You know, like the picture itself is not the content, right? I'm just using it to create something new. So it should be fair use, but yeah, you never know. Some fucking idiots just don't understand anything and the whole like how is it called the whole fair use thing that's a whole a really big gray area you're actually like first this and <laughs> don't have, I have no idea what it means all right <laughs> I believe ya I will believe you. I've heard a question a million times. What was the best way to, for me to learn shadow work? Start. Uh, yeah, I heard it a million times, but yeah, uh, start with cell shading. Just block out the basic shadows. Doesn't have to be like too precise, right? For example, if I would just go again over this whole thing. Okay, I was just turn off everything I can and just keep this thing up or multiply so we kind of see what's there right so I will just like pretend uh, this is new layer and I will just put like okay this is not the best best brush to do this with okay I will just do the whole face first 
Let's go cell shading, right? And the best way is not to try like render the shadow or you know create some kind of sh soft shadow. Just take the hard edge brush. That's all you want to do. And the first thing you want to do is just take some kind of shadow color. It doesn't have to be too dark or too light. It's just just some shadow color that you're like thing that it will be. Let's say this one, okay? And now I will figure out where the shadow will be. So I know as he's gonna light up from a little bit this side, but not from the side. It's like more of a front, front but a little bit to the right. Like this light source is around here, and it goes down like that. So I know that this side will be dark, right? So I will just block it out. So I know that he has shades, right? So his eyes will be blocked out as well. What else, what else does it make? So, well, under the nose will be shadow. So we also under the shadow. I'm not trying to like make some like transitions or anything. Well, I know that this will little, be a little bit of shadow here because it's like not right from this side. It's like more of a front. Like that, and under his chin there will be also shadow, and also under his mouth a bit. Now we can like add this shadow as well, and now I know when it's like from this side, so this wrinkle, like his wrinkle, will also make a little bit of shadow under his nose as well. And like that, and I will just work it out where the shadow pretty much could be. And I know that the hardest shadow will be on this side. So let's make it like that. And this might also be under the shadow. This will be also under the shadow. And the rest of it should be kind of light. Right? Except some wrinkles and shit. But that's not what we are talking about right now. So like that. Okay, that's your first stage. Now you can start redefining it, like figure out, okay, well, I have this shadow, right? It goes like a little bit from the top, so, well, that should be like, let's take some like mid-tone now. And I'll start like laying down more shadows, like the more softy shadows, but still with a hard edge brush. And I'm still going, okay, well, here will be something because it will be kind of light up. Wonder this news, but well, he has a light mustache, but I don't care about that right now. And now here, here, on this side, th there should be light over here already. So now, and now, this side will be a little bit darker. And we were talking about this side as well, so we'll just do the whole thing. His hair as well, even though it's like light, it doesn't matter. And now, okay, the light's going like a little bit from top and down, so his hair, even though it's like real, it's kind of light, so it should have some kind of banger, like real light parts. But his hair is not, not totally white, right? So we'll take like some dark as well, and a mid tone, and. Now we're just taking one light source, right? There's no backlight or anything, so this part will be dark, even though his hair is light. And just like that, you're just counting, like going and going and going until you like get the shadow right. Hi, bye game. That's how I would like go with the shadows. Don't try to make it hard on yourself, right? Just go with the easy stuff first. Just blocking out the shadows. Doesn't have to be perfect. On first try, it's digitally. You can just make a new layer and fix it, or do it again. That's the beauty of digitally. Just. Nothing really matters, nothing's really permanent. 
You can change and alter everything in a few minutes, so it's like no one need to be scared. Any adjust? Oh, wrong layer. <laughs> Uh, nice one. That actually helps a lot, thank you. Oh, well, you're welcome. Of course, it gets a little bit more difficult when you have like multiple light sources, but just start with one. Like, multiple light sources is just like, I don't need to know about that yet. something to be worried about. I can make this a little bit darker though. The white doesn't really look that uh, convincing. some grade A digital fatalism right there yeah yeah nothing really matters yeah nothing really matters it's just like even in traditional it doesn't okay once you start getting like really too attached to your painting and you're doing something wrong because <laughs> like yeah I get it like yeah sometimes it's like you know kind of your piece you really want to work on it you know it's like you heart like you know it's like your emotional kind of piece but in the end it's just painting it's like you will paint it and you will probably never look at it again or you will give it to someone right and if like the only thing that's stopping you t to make it better is to destroy the original then there's like no brainer just destroy it like because you want to make it better you don't want to make bad painting right but when you know that you can make it better like if just some, some sentiment or just something like yeah i just spent like eight, 10 hours on it i don't want to like you know start over is the one thing that like holding is holding you back from make it something way better than you just did then just like delete it or destroy it or repaint it or whatever is necessary to make it better or just keep it and do a new one if you don't really want to like you know overpaint something or you know on top of the normal one in traditional of course and digitally you can just create a new layer or copy the layer or whatever what are we bob ross just making happy accidents yeah bro that's one thing that i liked about bob ross like this happy accident because that's pretty much my style of art I'm not planning anything, and when I do, it fucking sucks. Every piece of my original artwork 
which I'm not talking about this guy because like yeah I'm using reference I have a picture over there uh, is pretty much happy access <laughs> like every single one of my horror drawings or you know like paintings that I did every single one of my original artwork is just pure accident it just happens that I saw something in the that pile of horse shit that I did on a paper and somehow worked out yeah but I I get your paint your point, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm not a big fan of Bob Ross. Like, yeah. I'm a fan of what he did. Right? About, like, teaching kids and, you know, actually showing them that it's not that hard to be an artist. That it's something they can learn. Because, okay. There's a big, like, kind of stupidity about, uh, not stupidity, well, I, I don't know, uh, pre, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, come on, um, okay, well, well, I will just say, um, that there's, like, you know, this thing that every artist has to be talented, every artist, you know, you either have a talent or you're not an artist. Well, that's not fucking true. I don't have any talent. You can see it on the fucking way how I'm painting this, it's like... But you should kind of show kids that there is some kind of logic that you can learn, you know, some kind of like way how to learn it. Prejudice, yeah. That art, the artist can be only the person who has a talent, but that's not fucking true. Like if. Okay, fucking. Uh, that's why I'm not streaming on YouTube. I say, like. <laughs> Welcome to demonetization! My ass doesn't matter. It's just a stream. I'm calling bullshit. Uh, well, that's. I'm calling bullshit on that because you didn't see my first paintings. This is not a talent, this is skill, and that's a difference. They are talented people who literally just have, like, kind of faster learning, right? That's a talent. Well, it's kind of multiplier to your what you're doing. It's not like something that... Talent is a multiplier. That's how I would say it. It's just multiplier to your learning curve. But the whole painting and the whole how they call it talent is just a skill. Well, I, yeah, 75% is hard work. I would even say 90%. Because, like, you don't need a talent to be a good artist. What you need is patience and hell of a time. Learn it. But if you get that, then you're golden. You can start on doing some amazing art. Just need that. Patience and time.
I think it's like the worst thing you can say to an artist is just like, you're so talented. Because it's pretty much says that, hey, you have a talent. And that's some kind of magic thing that will just, you know, show you everything. I had patience one, it was terrible. Yeah. I was like productive once, yeah. <laughs> Never again. It was a nightmare. I'm a natural talent, my art teacher always tried to reshape me and ended up making everything worse yeah. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't like crush it. Like, okay, if you are an artist and you have a talent and you have, it's like, okay, you have a talent. That means you have some kind of passion already. You have something you want to do already, right? Because like, that's how you spot a talented person. He usually starts really early with art, and he sticks with it because the so-called not talented people usually figure it out. Hey. I tried it, it didn't work, let's move on. It's not for me. That's why, like, kids are usually really enthusiastic until they figure it out that they are not as good as they... Yeah, like, not hard working, just say, you're skilled. That's, like, the best thing you can say to them. Like, or you are so good. Or skilled not talented talented is like kind of an insult to be honest you can say that to a kid right but not someone who just like put literally thousands of hours into becoming what he is it's like literally just deleting those thousand hours and saying yeah good talent I don't do that I want this color. Hmm. Safe, because it's Krita. By the way, I don't remember when Krita crashed on me. Like last time Krita crashed on me, actually. This is weird. Usually, it's kind of, it used to be kind of, you know. Where did this line came from? I don't want it. <laughs> and, uh, I don't remember putting this line in. Oh, I just oh, maybe we can just yeah we can just erase. It. Yeah, because uh, let's come back to that thingy where it's like hard working, right? Uh, not hard working, nature talent, right? And reshaping someone. Because when you are like young and you are talented or interested in art, you usually stick up with it. If you're not so good and others around you like learn way faster, they have the talent multiplier, you usually give up like go up really soon. Once you once you figure that out, it's just bam. Yeah, yeah, I got me. Krita has been crashing more than usually. Um, most of them hated realism, so it's a totally different direction for me. Most of them hated their realism, so told. Totally. You liked realism? I say I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't think it's like the best thing, but I think the realism, like, yeah, you you can stick with the realism, right? But I don't think that's an end goal. at all because there are like so many more things you can like go for but realism is definitely good to start with 
that's one thing I will like go with your teachers because like realism is actually really good to know. It's like what do I uh it's like math, right? In school. You think you don't really need it, but in the end you kinda need it. It's good to know, right? Realism, not photorealism. Yeah, like, eh, photorealism is just boring. I mean, realism in a way of that you will stick up with the anatomy, that you will stick up with, like, okay, like something like this, right? It's not photorealism. It's kind of realism, but I don't photorealism. I, I don't give a shit about photorealism. Photorealism is kind of a waste of time, to be honest. Don't, like, don't take it offensively, like, that if you're doing photorealism, good for you, like, continue if it, if it makes you happy. Go for it, if it makes you, like, if it feeds you or whatever, if you're making money on it, or if it's your career, career, yeah, just go for it, I have nothing against it. But I don't think that's an end goal, it's just... For photorealism, we have photos. You're not a copy machine, you are a art, an artist. You should create something you have, like something of yours. Yeah, photorealism is impressive, but boring, exactly. I, I don't like the abstract art. Exactly, you, you might as well take a picture. That's true. You have to stylize it somehow. Like, you don't have to, but... If you do that, it will look better and you'll probably be happier about it, because you put something from you to that. Not just... You didn't just copy something. But again, like, I'm not saying copying is bad. Copying is great. You learn by copying a lot, but yeah, but like copying being your end goal, that's not a really good thing. I lost hours of work. Oh, damn. Well, Krita for me actually, like lately, is pretty good. Like the last crashing, like brick crashing was about when Krita 3 came out. That was like a big one. I had to crash like every fucking hour. It was a nightmare. But now it's just, I don't remember when Krita crashed last time. Now can we just like, this great okay i'll just put something away you know to make the suit a little bit real because like yeah no suit is like that No suit is perfect on anyone. Can we get this one with lighter? Yes. Thanks. And the yellow. about that. Bye, take care anyway late, I need to clean the kitchen. Did you get version 413? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Have a Krita? My version? Yeah, I do have it.
Okay, see ya, Mila. Mila, Mila, I don't know. Do you like to animate? Can't wait for the version 4.2. Um, I like it, but I'm not like good at it, or I'm not like practicing often. I usually, the only time I animate is on streams, and it usually kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I, like I enjoy the process. It's fun. It's good exercise, but not like I'm not good at it, or I'm not like you know. making it on my own time just you know to animate every day or something or practicing just I enjoy it from time to time yo we are streaming here again yeah uh, maybe it will be one off or I will maybe like do like maybe once a week on YouTube or something and the rest of it on Twitch what made me change my mind I don't know I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, at least the. I know, actually. <laughs> I said it like. I haven't lo watched. Like, I haven't listened to copyright free music for a while. I was like, yeah, I, well, I can listen to it for one stream. So I was like, like yeah, let's, let's just put it on you. <laughs> I hope that it's copyright free music. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much yeah I think it's better for me because I don't have lag yeah because you can like change your uh, resolution and shit alright but I'm like I'm streaming on twitch as well so It's not more exposure, it's more people people that already yeah, are already subbed to me are seeing this, right? It's not like I think more exposure would be on Twitch, but here it's like more people who already know me can figure out that I'm streaming pretty much. That makes sense. Feel like you would. I feel like you would like Electronica 60. What's that? If you are referring to the music, I'm listening to it just because it's copyright free. <laughs> Even though the song is kind of good. Actually, these days I'm kind of listening to Jay Gill a lot. Even though it's like not really my type of music, but I enjoy it. I think 
I'm kind of done for today, to be honest. I want to like end till I still enjoy it. Because I don't want to like stream when I'm not enjoying streaming. And I feel like I kind of don't have much more interest into making this painting, which would kind of lead to the point where I will probably not enjoy streaming anymore because, you know, I would have nothing to do. But yeah, I'm planning on streaming again, don't worry. And hopefully I will make the freaking video on announcing the new contest. Okay, let's just look without the line art. It's alright. What if we... What? Take line art and kind of... That yeah, looks alright. So yeah. I will try to make another stream later. Like not later today, but later this week maybe even. Uh, actually no, I have to work tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and I have but hey, Daniel Montreal, trio. Hello there. How are you doing? Kind of came in a little bit late because I'm about to end the stream. <laughs> but uh, I'll be streaming probably. I'm not sure if this week, but next week. For sure. This week will be kinda hectic from now on. So yeah. Thanks everyone for showing up. Not sure if I'll be still keeping streaming on like keep streaming on YouTube, but I will try from time to time. And I hope you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Mine's out. Bye, everyone. Next time I want to voice it with Yeah, you can. We'll see. We'll try to figure it out. Okay. Goodbye, everyone.